Hello and welcome to my video on how to edit XMP files in Stardew Valley. In this video, I will be explaining to you what XMP files are, what they do, and how you can edit them. So let's get started. What are XMBs and what do they do? Think of XMB files as like the lifeblood of the game. Most of them have the game's images and tile sheets in them, but there is a very special folder called data. If you couldn't already tell what this is, this holds the majority of the game's data. So for example, if I go into weapons.xmb, I can change the rusty sword's damage, crit chance, crit power, type, etc. and make it the best sword in the game. A few things you cannot change in data, because they are hard coded into the game, are the tipsy buff and the two saloon minigames, Journey of Perriking and the Junimo card. I hate both of them. There's some other things that are hard coded into the game, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. So, you're probably wondering, how do I edit these XMB files? Well, it's actually surprisingly easy, but it takes a little bit of setting up. So, how do I edit XMB files? Think of an XMB file as a zipped file. With a zipped file, I have to use a program like 7-zip or WinRAR or the inbuilt extract windows tool to unzip the file. However, with XMB files, instead of unzipping them, you have to unpack them. The thing I use to unpack and repack XMB files is called XMB CLI. Click the link in the description and it will take you to this GitHub link. Now, if you're on Linux, you of course click the Linux one. If you're Mac, blah, blah, blah. I'm Windows and I'm a 64-bit operating system, so I click that. This is going to download. It downloads. It should download in a second. My internet's just stuffed up for some reason. Now, if I go to downloads, it will be here. Just wait for it to download and it's downloaded. Now, because this is a zip file, I extract it, right? And I already have it before, so I'll just replace the files. I've already done this before. Now this is this, uh, you can just leave this for a second. The thing that we're actually going to need is a text editing program. So, on Windows, Notepad is just automatically installed, you can do this, you can use this, it's fine. If you want something fancier, you can use Notepad++. To do download Notepad++, click the link in the description, and it will take you to this website here. Just click download and you just click the latest one and it'll just download. I already have it downloaded. Yeah, you just click this. I don't need to. Now you're going to have to pick a file to edit. So the directory for Stardew Valley is Steam or program apps, Steam, Steam apps, common Stardew Valley um, and content. Yeah, content. Now I recommend that you make either a copy of the XMB file you're going to edit or, like I do, I just, I copy the entire folder onto my desktop so that if something goes wrong here, it doesn't matter, I can just copy the file from there. So, desktop, I'll just go to content. Now I'm going to grab all in here. Those are going to be image files. Most of these are, there's a few that aren't. But yeah, so these, I'll just get, say, pig. You know, I'm going to edit the pig. Go to desktop. Now, I like to drag this onto the desktop, so I'll just do that. Now, uh, go to Packed. I'll just delete this so you don't... So yeah, there's Pig. Now, if we go into Data, Stardew Valley, Content Data, there'll be one called Weapons, because I want to edit the Rusty Sword and make it the most powerful weapon in the game, as I said before. So, we go to so that Stardew Valley, go into this we go into packed and we paste it now because it's packed it's in the packed folder we need to unpack it now this is smart screen because unknown bat file just windows doing its thing that's fine um yep it shows you what you've done press enter to or any key to exit it now if you've got it unpacked boom this is now a png file so it's a photo file you can open now i don't know why my computer's being slow um there we go. See? However, if you want to edit it, I would use something like Photoshop. That's what I use. If you want to use, like, GIMP or, or something else, those free alternatives, you can. Now, the one... This one's cool. Uh, Photoshop will appear in a second. But the one I really am interested in is the weapons one. This is a .json file. So, as I said, you can open it with a notepad if you want. However, I like to open it in notepad plus plus because it formats better so you can drag it in or you can do like file open or whatever but i like to just drag it in usually 
Alright, so the file's now in, and it's, it's, you know, it's somewhat comprehensible. There's like numbers, there's, there's the name, the description, but these are kind of gibberish. So, and now this is one of the more comprehensible ones, but like some of them are just really random. So, if we go to the last thing in the description, you will see a thing called category modding. Now, we're, at, we're editing weapon data. Now, I know it's over here. We're editing, editing weapon data, so you click that one, redirect you to this page. Alright, so this will show you what to do, so zero, so zero, that's the name, description one, two, three for min and max damage. So zero, one, two, three. Now this should be one and two, I've already edited it, but as you've just seen, you can just add a bunch of zeros if you want, you can add some lines, whatever you want. Just make it as big as you want. Now, if you wanna, I wanna add some speed, so not this one, but this one. I already, this should be at one, but I already put it to 100 and put it like a bit more. Um, you can add, you can add crit stuff. The one I wanted to really show you is this one. So this is three, cause it's a slashing sword. However, I wanna turn it into a club. Like it was still slash, but it has the club ability. So I backspace and use it, press two. Now, I just click save, and it will save. The thing is, it's still just here. I need to get that into this. Now, I recommend creating a backup folder, um, backup, just in case you do something wrong to the X and Bs, you can replace them. But you can always just get them from here if you put, um, copy one into your desktop. So Now, these are unpacked files, so we need to pack them up. So, yeah, just smart screen, that's fine. Um, and now I've packed it. And now, baby goat and weapons have appeared. So I'm gonna put weapons and data. Contents. Data. Paste. We replace, replace it. And this is baby goat. And we're going to animals. Replace. Boom. Now, if I load up Soldier Valley, you'll see... That it, the rusty sword is the best sword in the game. Now this is this method of modding files is obsolete, of course, the X and B files, because think of it, if you want to mod like a lot of stuff, you're gonna have to change each file and like you'd have to give someone like 10 X and B files if for like a, a bigger than like just a medium-sized mod would have like 10 to 20 X and B files. So if you wanna make good mods, learn C sharp, because those are the mods that are in like these mod folders. These are all made in C sharp and they're not as clunky as the X and B ones. Now, because X and Bs are in plain text, it's just fun to mess around with friends. Um, Rusty Sword actually works in multiplayer. Um, there's, if you edit the monster's data and make yourself invincible it, invincible, it only works if you're the host. But the sword doesn't matter if you host. Some of them are weird. Um, my friend, he edited Starfruit, so when he harvested a Starfruit, he got a green bean. Yeah, it was really weird. I'm also making a giant guide on the beginner's guide to crops. So it would be like 3k, 3.5k words, maybe. Um, I'm only at 1.8k so far, so I'm about halfway through. But yeah, this will be like an encyclopedia. If you're a beginner, I recommend you watch the whole thing through. But if you do know a lot about crops, we'll say you don't know much about some full crops or nature seed or rare seed or stuff or whatever, that will be all covered in the video. Um, even like coffee, beehives, and everything. You know, everything crop related. You can always just go to that part of the section, I have everything timestamped, put in the chapters, you can just always watch it there. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, like, sub, whatever you want, comment if it helped you, and bye.